بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم کوٹ آف دا ڈے بی دا چینج ڈیٹ یو وش ٹو سی ان دا ورلڈ ٹوڈے دا ٹاپک آف مائی پریزنٹیشن از کیبیز اینڈ باڈی لائز اینڈ آئی ول بی پریزنٹنگ اٹ انڈر دا کائنڈ سپر ویژن آف پروفیسر ڈاکٹر سائرا افزل لرننگ آؤٹ لائنس انٹروڈکشن ایپیڈیمیولوجیکل ڈیٹرمیننس چین آف ٹرانسمیشن اینڈ کمیونیکیبلٹی کلینیکل مینیفیسٹیشنس levels of prevention, recent advances, and MCQs. Learning objectives. By the end of this presentation, participants will be able to describe the epidemiological determinants, clinical features, prevention strategies. Scabies. Introduction. Human scabies is caused by an infestation of the skin by the human H. mite, sarcopede scabi. The microscopic scab scabies might burrows into the upper layer of the skin where it lives and lays its eggs. Scabies is not an infection but an infestation. The skin does not take kindly to the invasion. As the mites burrow and lays eggs inside the skin, the infestation leads to relentless itching and an angry rash. Key facts. An estimated 200 million people worldwide suffer from scabies at any one time. Up to 10% of children in resource poor areas are affected by scabies. Human scabies is a parasitic infection infestation caused by sarcopedes scabi for hominis. Scabies occurs most common in hot tropical countries and in areas of high population densities. Serious complications such as septicemia, heart disease, chronic kidney disease may occur. In 2017, scabies and other ectoparasites were included as neglected tropical diseases in response to a request from member states and recommendations on the WHO strategic and technical advisory group for neglected tropical diseases. Scope of the problem, scabies is one of the commonest dermatological conditions accounting for a substantial proportion of skin disease in developing countries. Globally, it is estimated to affect more than 200 people at any time. Prevalence estimates in the recent scabies-related literature range from 0.2% to 71%. Scabies is endemic in many resource-poor tropical settings with an estimated average prevalence of 5 to 10% in children. Recurrent infestations are common. The sheer burden of scabies infestation and its complication imposes a major cost on health care systems. In high-income economies, cases are sporadic, yet outbreaks in health institutions and vulnerable communities contribute to significant economic cost in national health services. Scabies occur worldwide. However, it is, most, it is the most vulnerable group in young children and the elderly in resource-poor communities. The highest rates of infestation occur in countries with high tropical climates, especially in communities where overcrowding and poverty coexist and where there is limited access to treatment. Common symptoms. The most common symptoms of scabies, itching and a skin rash and are caused by sensitization, a type of allergic reaction to the proteins and feces of the parasite. Severe itching, pruritus, especially at night, is the earliest most common symptom. A pimple-like papular itchy Pruritic scabies rash is also common. Itching and rash may affect much of the body or may be limited to common sites such as between the fingers, wrist, elbow, armpit, penis, nipple, waist, buttocks, and shoulder blades. The head, face, neck, palms, and soles often are involved in infants and very young children, but usually not adults and older children. Tiny burrows sometimes are seen on the skin. These are caused by the female scabies mite tunneling just beneath the surface of the skin. These burrows appear as tiny waist and fruit, grayish white or skin colored lines on the skin surface. Because mites are only few number, only 10 to 15 mites per person, these burrows may be difficult to find. The webbing between the fingers and the skin folds on the wrist, elbow or knee or on the penis, breast or shoulder blades. Scabies rash, classical sites of scabies rash between fingers, wrists, Axillary areas, female breasts, particularly the skin, the nipples, the umbilical area, penis and scrotum, buttocks, inside of legs and ankles. This is the scabies rash. Types of scabies, clean man scabies. This is seen in individuals who bath regularly and keep very clean. In this case, the lesions are minimal and hard to see. Itching tends to be not as intense. Infant scabies, this occurs in babies and young children and is often misdiagnosed or mistreated. Scabies will affect the whole body of the child and there will be a large amount of pustules. Scabies incognito, normally if a strong type of treatment such as steroids are applied, then the scabies are masked and the lesions are suppressed. 
Norwegian scabies. This is an intense case of crusted scabies. In this case, there can be up to hundreds of thousands of mites within the lesions. This occurs commonly in immunocompromised individuals or people who are mentally challenged. They are highly contagious either by direct or indirect contact. Animals are susceptible to scabies too. Domestic pets that contract scabies are liable to pass it on to other members of the household as well. Epidemiological determinants. Agent, sarcopede scabi, microscopic mite, zoonotic, burrows into the skin and lays eggs, produces rash and itchiness in the skin. Host is very young or old or immunocompromised. Environment, tropical climate, resource poor, overcrowding, poverty, limited treatment, skin contact with infected individuals. Incubation period. In people who have never had scabies, it will take four to six weeks for symptoms to begin. During this period, the infested person can spread scabies. In people who have previously been infested with scabies and are exposed again, symptoms can begin within one to four days. One to four days. Who is at risk? Scabies can be passed easily by an infested person to his or her household members and sexual partners. Scabies in adults frequently is sexually acquired. It affects people of all races and social classes. Scabies can spread easily under crowded conditions where close body and skin contact is common. Institutions such as nursing home, extended care facilities, and prisons are often sites of scabies outbreaks. Child care facilities also are a common site of scabies infestation. Crusted scabies, some immunocompromised, elderly, dis disabled, or debilitated persons are at a risk for a severe form of scabies called crusted or Norwegian scabies. People with crusted scabies have thick crusts of skin that contain large number of scabies mites. The mites in crusted scabies are not more violent than in non-crusted scabies. In addition to spreading scabies, through brief direct skin-to-skin -skin contact, persons with trusted scabies can transmit scabies indirectly by shedding mites that contaminated items such as their clothing, bedding, and furniture. Persons with crusted scabies should receive quick and aggressive medical treatment for their infestation to prevent outbreaks of scabies. Transmission. Scabies is usually transmitted person to person through close skin contact, for example, living in the same residence with an infested individual. Transmission due to contact with infested personal items is unlikely with common scabies, but may be more important for individuals with crusted scabies. As there is an asymptomatic period of infestation, transmission may occur before the initially infestation person develops symptoms. Humans are the source of infestation. Animals do not spread human scabies. Period of communicability. Scabies mites is an ectoparasite. An exposed individual is potentially immediately infectious to others, even the absence of the symptoms. Cases are communicable from the time of infestation until mites and eggs are destroyed by treatment. Complications of scabies infestation. The intense itching and scratching can cause skin soaps. Impetigo may become complicated by deeper skin infections such as abscesses or serious invasive disease including septicemia. In tropical settings, scabies-associated skin infection is a common risk factor for kidney disease and possibly rheumatic heart disease. Treatment, primary management of affected individuals involves application of a topical scabicide such as 5% permethrin, 0.5% malathion in aqueous paste, 10 to 25% benzyl benzoate emulsion, or 5 to 10% sulfur ointment. Oral ivermectin is also highly effective and is approved in several countries. Safety of I ivermectin in pregnant women or children under 15 kg body weight has not been established, so ivermectin should not be used in these groups until more safety data are available. Itching commonly intensifies with effective treatment for one to three weeks, and then treated individuals should to be informed about this. Best results are obtained by treating the whole household at the same time and repeating treatment in the time frame appropriate for the chosen medication. Uh, Permethrin treatment of choice applied from the neck down usually before bedtime and left on for about 8 to 14 hours and then showered off in the morning. One application is normally sufficient for mild infections. For moderate to severe cases, another dose is applied for 7 to 14 days later may cause slight irritation of the skin. Ivermectin is an oral medication often used as a single dose treatment of choice for clustered scabies often used in combination with a topical agent. And topical ivermectin preparations have been found to be effective for scabies in adults and are attractive due to their low cost, ease of preparation, and low toxicity. Has also been useful for sarcopotic man managers. The uh, other TTT include lindane, benzyl benzoate, proto protamiton, malathion, and sulfur preparations.
who should be treated for scabies anyone who is diagnosed with scabies as well his or her sexual partners and other contacts who have prolonged skin to skin contact with infested person should be treated treatment is recommended for members of the same household as the member as the person with scabies all persons should be treated at the same time to prevent reinfestation Re treatment may be necessary if it continues more than 2 to 4 weeks after treatment or if new burrows or rash continue to appear health promotion and level of prevention in public health level of prevention uh, primary secondary and tertiary health promotion and specific protection early diagnosis and prompt treatment and rehabilitation uh, primary prevention uh, health education proper cleanliness and body care frequent change of underclothing and bed children who are infested should be excluded from school until disinfection secondary prevention whenever possible the diagnosis of scab should be confirmed by identifying the mite or mite eggs or fecal matter this can be done by carefully removing the mite from the end of its burrow using the tip of a needle or by obtaining a skin scraping or to examine under a microscope for mites eggs or mite fecal matter however a person can still be infested even if mites eggs or fecal matter cannot be found fewer than 10 to 15 mites may be present on an infested person who is otherwise healthy preventive measures during scabies outbreaks mass treatment programs that use topical permethrin or oral ivermectin there is no vaccine available for scabies the simultaneous treatment of all calls for close contacts is recommended even if they show no symptoms or infection to reduce rates of recurrence families are treated all at the same time asymptomatic infection is relatively common rooms used by those with clustered scabies require thorough cleaning maintain a high level of suspicion if patients present with undiagnosed skin rashes WHO response WHO works with member states and partners to develop control strategies and scabies outbreak response plans WHO recognizes that the burden of the disease and the risk of long term sequelae that need to be better defined and that control strategies must integrate with existing activities in order to facilitate rapid cost effective uptake of the strategy WHO is working to have ivermectin added to the WHO model list of essential medicines when it is next updated Additionally, it is working to ensure that quality, effective medications will be accessible to the countries that need them. Pediculosis body lice. Introduction lice are parasitic insects that can be found on people's hands and bodies, including the pubic area. Human lice survive by feeding on human blood. Lice found on each area of the body are different from each other. The three types of lice that live on humans are Pediculus humanus capitis, head louse; Pediculus humanus corporis. body louse clothes louse and pitilus pubis crab louse pubic louse only the body louse is known to spread the disease signs and symptoms intense itching and rash caused by an allergic reaction to louse bites are common symptoms of body lice infestation intense itching leads to scratching which can cause sores and secondary bacterial infection of the skin when body lice infestation is long lasting heavily bit heavily bitten areas of the skin can become thickened and darkened particularly in the mid section of the body this condition is called back up on disease body lice are known to transmit disease epidemic typhus french fever and epidemic relapse relapsing fever life cycle of the body louse has three stages egg nymph and adult Eggs nits are body lice eggs. They are hard to see and are often confused for dandruff. Nits are laid by the adult female and are cemented at the base of the hair shaft nearest the skin. They are zero point eight millimeter by zero point three millimeter oval and usually yellow to white. Nits take about one week to hatch. Viable eggs are usually located within six millimeter of the skin. Nymph. The egg hatches to release a nymph. The nit shell then becomes a more visible dull yellow and remains attached to their hair shaft the nymph looks like an adult body louse but is about the size of a pinhead nymphs mature after three molts and becomes adults about 7 days after hatching the adult louse is about the size of a sesame seed has six leg e each with claws and is tan to grayish white in persons with dark hair the adult louse will appear dark females are usually larger than males and can lay up to 8 nymphs per day Adult lice can live up to thirty days on a person's body. To live, adult lice need to feed on body blood several times daily. Without blood meals, the louse will die within one to two days of the host. Risk factors: conditions of crowding and poor hygiene, who do not have access to regular bathing, changes of clean clothes, such as the homeless, refugees, and survivors of war or natural disaster. Body lice infestation can occur in people of all races. body lice are spread through direct contact with a person who has body lice or through contact with articles such as clothing beds bed linens or towels that have been in contact with an infested person diagnosis body lice infestation is diagnosed by finding eggs and crawling lice in the 
themes of clothing. Sometimes a body louse can be seen crawling or feeding on the skin. Although body lice in this can be large enough to be seen with the naked eye, a magnifying lens may be necessary to find crawling lice or eggs. Treatment, a body lice infestation is treated by improving the personal hygiene of the infested person, including assuring a regular change of clean clothes. Clothing, bedding, towels used by the infested person should be laundered using hot water and machine dried using the hot cycle. Sometimes the infested person also is treated with a pediculicide, a medicine that can kill lice. However, a pediculicide generally is not necessary if hygiene is maintained and items are laundered appropriately at least once a week. A pediculicide should be applied exactly as directed on the bottle or by your physician. Prevention and control bath regularly and change into properly laundered clothes at least once a week. Launder infested clothing at least once a week. Machine wash and dry infested clothing and bedding using the hot water. Laundry cycle and the highest heat during cycle. Clothing and items that are not washable can be dry cleaned or sealed in a plastic bag and stored for two weeks. Do not share clothing, beds, bedding and towels used by an infested person. Fumigation or dusting with chemical insecticides sometimes is necessary to control and prevent the spread of the body lice for certain diseases, epidemic types. Recent updates. Comparison of topical benzyl benzoate versus oral ivermectin in treating scabies, a randomized study. In this study, they took patients with dermoscopy verified scabies visiting the dermatological outpatient clinic were accessed for enrollment in the study. In total, 224 patients were enrolled and sequentially randomized into two equally sized groups. Group A received topical 25% and 10% benzyl benzoate for the daily use over a period of three consecutive days. Group B received oral ivermectin twice one week apart. Treatment outcome was evaluated by dermoscopy at a three-week follow-up visit. Uh, results treatment resulted in a cure rate of 87% in group A and 86% in group B. After initial therapy failure in group A, 6 out of 8 patients showed treatment response upon repeated application of benzyl benzoate. 5 of 5 and B treated with ivermectin and 2 of 2 with BB plus ivermectin, respectively. In group B, successful retreatment was observed in 3 out of 3 patients with ivermectin, 2 out of 2 patients with benzyl benzoate, and 11 out of 11 patients with the combination of BB plus ivermectin, respectively. Tolerability and safety profile of oral ivermectin was excellent, while benzoyl benzoate produced short burning sensations in 14%. Conclusion, topical benzoyl benzoate and oral ivermectin have shown comparable good therapeutic efficacy. Therefore, both agents constitute an adequate first-line therapy in the treatment of scabies. A combination of both agents may be considered in uh, extremely infested cases, additionally to crusted scabies. Risk factor for scabies treatment resistance, a retrospective cohort study. A retrospective cohort study was performed in patients with scabies infestation confirmed by potassium hydroxide examination. Patient characteristics, clinical features, and treatment history were recollected. The treatment-resistant groups included patients with persistent scabies infestation for more than 28 days after initiation of anti-scabies treatment with 5% permethrin cream. Scabies patients with limited mobility and topical steroid use before diagnosis are at high risk of treatment resistant. Dermatologists should take these findings into consideration when treating patients with scabies infestation. Now it's time for the MCQs. Scabies is a prevalent dermatological condition that causes a significant amount of skin disease in developing countries. The infection of the skin by DASH is known as the human itch mite. A. Bed bug. B. Pediculus human capitis. C. Pediculus human corporis. B. Prithris pubis. E. Sarcopedes kebai. E. C. E is the right answer. A 32 year old woman has been awakening up at night because of itching in her upper and lower limb as well as her belt area for the past month. The finger webs have linear burrows and vesicles upon examination. Which of the following diagnosis is most likely? A. Atopic dermatitis, B. Kidney disease, C. Liver, D. Psoriasis, E. Scabies. E. E. Scabies. E is the right answer. Scabies infection can be complicated by bacterial infection, which can lead to the development of skin infections, which can lead to more serious consequences, such as septicemia, heart disease, and chronic renal disease. The most severe form of scabies, which is highly contagious through direct or indirect contact, is animal scabies, clean men's scabies, infant scabies, nodular scabies, or E, Norwegian scabies. E? 
Yes, he is the right answer. Scabies is prevalent all over the world and sheer burden of scabies infestation and its complication places a significant financial load on healthcare system. Cases of scabies are dash in high income countries. Endemic, epidemic, hyperendemic, pandemic, or sporadic. E? Yes, E is the right answer. A 45-year-old HIV AIDS patient has slight itching in his upper region at night for the previous two months. Exfoliated scale and crustids have been found all over the body, especially on the face on physical examination. Which of the following diagnosis is most likely? Animal scabies, clean scabies, infant, nodular, or Norwegian? B? No, it's E, Norwegian scabies. A 35-year-old pregnant woman presented to the medical OPD with complaints of severe itching in the upper body, particularly between the fingers that worsened at night for at least four weeks. Linear burrows and vesicles around the finger webs and wrists found on examination. Scabies has been diagnosed in the patient, which will remain the first-line treatment for the scabies-infested pregnant woman. E? E? Yes, E is the right answer. An ABC 35 year old man has previously been infected with scabies and is exposed again. The symptoms of scabies may appear with him. 1 to 4 days, 8 to 10 days, 10 to 12 days, 12 to 14, 14 to 16 days. D? 1 to 4 days. The ABC daycare center is experiencing a scabies outbreak for the past two to four weeks. Young children in daycare centers have had a more widespread rash that includes palms, soles of feet, ankles, and occasionally the scalp. Scabies is mainly spread from person to person via blood transfusion, close skin contact, contaminated food, coughing, and scathing, mosquito bite. B. B. And in the of 45 years have a long-term body lice infestation, badly bitten parts of the skin might thicken and darken, especially in midsection. Which of the following syndrome is most likely? A. Pediculus human capitis. B. Pediculus human corporis. C. Pethys pubis. D. Scabies. E. Vagabond's disease. B. No, it's Vagabond's disease. A female homemade, 35 years old, had body lice infestation for the past one month. Which of the following disease is the body lice most likely to spread? A. Scabies, B. Filiasis, C. Yellow fever, D. Monkeypox, Monkeypox, E. Epidemic typhus. E. A. E is the right answer, epidemic typhus. This is the key of the MCUs. Uh, thank you and please subscribe and share the YouTube channel. Thank you very much, Alishma. Very nice presentation and uh, very elaborative one. You have uh, touched all the important aspects of scabies and uh, its uh, management. The most important part is the research advances. It is uh, very well presented, very well done. And uh, see you all next time. Thank you. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz, ma'am.